So let's look at some basic facts on abuse. Girls are abused at probably almost twice the rate of, of boys, somewhere between 18 and 26 percent uh, in terms of estimates. Boys between 7 and 16, and we're talking about emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. Um, in terms of child abuse in the U.S. in 2019, the vast majority of, of cases were of cases of neglect. And there were, were children, you know, next most frequent, although about a quarter is as common, were when there were several different kinds of, of abuse and you know, physical abuse, next common sexual abuse, all the way down to psychological uh, maltreatment, medical neglect. Sex trafficking is pretty infrequent. So in terms of consequences of abuse and neglect, at age 21, about 80% of people with a history of abuse and neglect have at least one psychiatric diagnosis. 14% of men, 36% of women in prison have a history of child abuse, and they seem to be about nine times as likely to become involved in criminal activities. Um, and we might think about why that might be. You know, it might be that they're more likely to be identified. It might be that they have lost some of the mentors and supports in, in their lives. Um, it might be that nobody is sort of watching to make sure that they don't get into trouble. So there are a number of things that we need to be thinking about. But good questions to be asking. If we're looking in Illinois um, at prisoners there, 98% of women said that they had experienced physical violence. 85% reported being stalked or emotionally abused. 75% sexually abused. One quarter reported trauma symptoms since childhood. And LGBTQ prisoners reported an average of six victimization types. Now, one of the things we're going to be talking about is, and that you may already have concluded, is that the more times or more kinds of trauma, the more, more likely someone is to run into problems. Let's talk about Kesey Lehman again. And he says, uh, again, talking about his mother. I worry about the possibility of our Black child feeling my touch, his and his partners, uh, was a violation. I wondered what our child would see when I was scared. I wonder what they'd hear when I was angry. I learned in indirectly from you that we cannot responsibly love anyone, and especially not Black children in America, if we insist on making a practice of hiding and running from ourselves. I wonder if a part of me wants to hold on to the possibility of hiding, running, and harming myself. I cannot do that if I have a child. So part of what Kesey is saying is let's think about some of the ways that a history of child abuse may impact parenting. If we're looking at life histories of perpetrators of physical abuse, um, people who were victims of violence are twice as likely to become a perpetrator of violence as people who weren't. That's a, a huge difference, right? If we're looking at sexual abuse, again, we're looking at odds ratios. Um, you know, 
If you are a victim of pedophilia, you are three and a half times likely to also perpetrate pedophilia. You're three times as likely to become a uh, to to become a perpetrator of a of abuse if you're a victim of incest. If either is the case, you're four times as likely. And if your parents were divorced, separated, dead, twice as likely. What Kesey Lehman says is, we are all broken. Some broken folk do what, whatever they can not to break other folk. If we're going to be broken, I wonder if we can be those kind of broken folk from now on. I think it's possible possible to, to be broken and ask for help without breaking other people. Now, I think Layman has a really important question here. Will I become a perpetrator? And clearly, there is an increased risk if you have a history of being sexually abused. There is an increased risk if you have a history of of violence. And yet, we also need to keep in mind that not everyone who is a victim of abuse goes on to become a perpetrator. And in fact, some people who were not a victim of abuse become violent. And the same is true here, you know, that not everyone who's sexual, who is sexually abused goes on to abuse her children. So lots of interesting things for us to be thinking about and that are, are going to be influencing how we approach things over the, the next several weeks. And take care. Bye-bye.